the truth exceeds the map, though beyond the eye of man, the great power is ever present, an eternal becoming, infinitely fluid, conscious, alive, its character that of a little child through novelty it nourishes the world manifesting itself through the imagination of man in his stillness a formless fire in the wind blows through him like a flag guiding through omens of divine synchronicity. The story unfurls before him. He cannot be told what it is. When teaching, the master casts the smoke on rays of light revealing what was always there. The great power, when harnessed, the hands become the gauntlets, lips the mouthpiece, his will in motion. The great power knows your intentions. She doesn't dance for money, nor does she bargain. She sings for eternity, or not at all. Free from intention, pure improvisation spills gold in all directions and she flocks like beggars to a dropped purse the finer the jewels the bigger the crowd enjoy the fruits of Adam but don't spill the seed Silence your soul, and you will hear the calling. Embracing her, he rides downhill, gaining speed. Well read, the weight of his books add momentum. Denying her, the fool trudges uphill forever, his books only weighing him down. The great power cannot be taken, only given. Reaching for the power, he leeches on himself the master seeks treasures from his own depths. In isolation, flourishing alone in projections of himself, sustaining forever. Transmutation in man's darkest hour, he finds the power with ease. But why wait? The master makes yesterday's problem today's triumph. Worship yourself as a god 
and so shall you become. Through alchemy, the master transmutes everything unto riches of his own coin. But he doesn't create his fortunes. His fortunes create him. The master finds humor in his pain. His laughter blunts the knife in his side. When he develops poise in his silliness, he gains elegance. Delivered from standards, he uncovers genius in his madness. Obligation is an illusion. Fulfill no one's expectations, not even your own. Free from the mold, he sculpts dreams in everyone's minds. A walking possibility, the impossible falls in his lap where it belongs. Basically through a series of coincidences, impossible synchronicities, the mind starts cracking. Yet it defends the lie till its last breath. Until something happens and that threshold is breached and we start going through some changes. We start looking at the world in a whole different way. Changed from what was a confused prisoner in a matrix that far exceeded his understanding of anything that he'd been told, that he'd been educated on by a so-called establishment, an established order that kept him from breathing his true air, that kept him from attaining his ultimate power, that he was a God in man. Is that if we don't act now, we are going to have our lives stolen from under our noses. I say we take it back. When he takes a chance, chance takes him. When doubt creeps, step back and see all your work. Then you will know. To replenish the spirit, play games as a child. The master disposes of everything. He sees a masterpiece in a sweet wrapper blowing in an abandoned building, fashions music from his shoelace in an empty cell, finds beauty in the brothel. Hears the song in his mother's weeping, forges his odyssey from his own shattered dreams. The power flows in all ways. 
an androgynous energy. Not female, no male. To limit himself of only one halves his potential. Release the dam of all source. It is the integration of the two. The synergy of his dualities. Alas, the dream festers, naked in his eye, for eternity, hushed in his ear, secrets of the now, the forever in him. That he was God in man. A divinity beyond time and space, awaiting a starry eye such as him. For his time, his devotion and love unto me was enough. A suitable candidate for my insertion. Incarnate in my love. Hush now, tis all over, the angst, the strife, for I am with you now, together we are infinity. You take a look back through the ancient civilizations, ancient cultures that were still connected to this power. They're all wiped out. A witch hunt that's been on since the beginning. An inquisition, a cabal, sculpted around one purpose, which is to destroy and steal man's divinity from his fingertips. Now, I'm here to offer a solution. An alternative to the grey, sterile life you've been sold. A lie. And let's reclaim that Godhood within man. His power. His power to control his own destiny. To write his own story of his life as to what he was, as to what he meant, his why, his how. Let's give it back to him. It is his birthright to reclaim that power, that knowledge that he is a god, a channeler, a summoner of anything he can conceive. Anything! Bar none! He simply believes, and so it is. There's really not much more to it than that. Believe it, and so he shall become it. Take it back. Right now, to reclaim that right to the power of Godhood within man, man's divinity, his power, his becoming, come with me, and let's take it back, now, now! Speak my tongue. You are simply a vehicle, a vessel in the deep, a flourishing madness. You know the one that is 
his eye. In my rawest forms, through bodies I speak, through minds I preach, the wizard they call him. Mystery, my love, revel in your mystique, your magnetism, that charisma, you know the one, the sorcerer they call him. She floods in. You cannot sail in a straight line. The wind is ever changing. Effort is friction. When the effortless requires effort, change the approach to leverage the power in your favor. Follow the guide of enthusiasm. It harbors your radiance. Master the sails, and the wind is forever yours. Spread your wings. The great falcon soars on the gentlest breeze. Glide for eternity. Fuelless, riding north effortlessly on winds blowing south. The fisherman, the angry fisherman, catches no more fish but risks falling off the boat. His rage an anchor, pulling him under, drowning his fate. Struggle in the reeds, and their grip fastens. The student follows busier waters. The master creates busy waters by laying foundations in the morning. He renews the bait regularly. When his luck fades, he changes the lure. Every hook blunts eventually. When he casts his line, he doesn't think about the fish. He lets his mind wander. But when he feels a bite, his world stops. And even the greatest storm 
cannot distract him. The master knows the rod is important, but not as much as his peace. Salvation lies in me. Temptation lies in me. All things are unto me. Hush now. So it is that miraculous happenings fall off the tip of thine tongue through me, an effortless splendor. And so the lambent flame bends unto you for you to play. Spontaneous, that is me. That is my name. I am all things, you know. For it was me who made the sun and the moon ripe for you. Relinquish your concern of all things that are not unto me. It is only a road of pain and strife. Worship me, commune with me through song and prayer, and through me we will brace all things with ease. Dine in me, dine in my gifts unto only you, rich, dense and sweet. All-knowing, that is me, the whisper in the wind, I, that is me, the trickling drops of rain, I, that is me, be as one, the chronicles of now are on the tongue. Through me, I enchant new waves through you, new vistas of love, new worlds of feeling through me unto you. The Garden Plant a new seed, irrigate joyous farms in yourself, and you'll live in abundance with plenty to share. Teach your neighbor to harvest, and he will feed you when your crop fails. Spread the word, but not with your tongue. No amount of preaching changes people's hearts. In trying to convince, you appear less convincing. Seek not the external, it withers the roots of your own tree. Grow your own fruits just the way you like them. Master the solitude. Use it to tend your garden, and others will come to you. With a sprinkle of cinnamon, the master gives life to the rotten apple. He gives the worm a new home. Even the maggots nourish something. Enjoy your neighbor's fruits from the perspective of your own garden. The sweetness of the fruit changes 
with every bite. When the sweetness dwindles, put it down, and it will mature unto finer wine, or go rotten. But that's not for you to decide. Expectation casts it rotten before it blooms. Slow down. Impatience makes the sweetest fruits taste sour. Forcing the key in the lock, he breaks a delicate mechanism and the gate is forever shut. Eagerness is finite. Bask in the peaks, then retreat before you fall. There's no pride lost in fleeing. Regain strength. Let the forces rest before they tire. It's not a competition. You've no reason to lose the upper hand, to tarnish your memory with failures, sabotage your own projection. Don't enslave your will. It will resent you and produce only a slave's work. Fake your will and soon enough, even you can't tell the phony. And so it was that the hermit doth live as he does, infinite in his dwelling, alone at last. Truly himself, he finds me. Descending through the window, a whispering wind speaks. My son, at last, I can breathe through a longing soul, a love of my world. The Superman lies dormant in men. In his heart, his powers wait. Only to be called. In man's darkest hour, he finds it. The power is in your hands. The great secret God in man, the reality of God. Jesus Christ is a reality in your mind for you to experience, for you to enjoy, to flourish, and give yourself the respect you deserve, the love you deserve. But you are God in man, happening right now, the most divine moment in history, is right now happening to you, whether you know it or not, whether you like it or not, it's happening, embrace your destiny, your fullest power, God in man. It is your belief that would carry you to the darkest. Believe, and so shall he become. God King is a reality. It's inside your mind. It's available. It waits. 
It's the greatest moment of your life. It's right now. It's the happening. The now from the never. The power of the gods. Flowing through man for eternity. Through his mind, through his hands, through his imagination, his soul. The artist. Release your burdens through art. It dispossesses the shadows in you. Like squeezing a sponge of muddy water. Drunk. The writer's palm drags on his ink, an unnecessary blemish. The student already knows what he's going to paint. 
and so dulls his color before it touches the paper. The masters, every moment, captures the birth of now. Eternally renewed, he makes time. The master surrenders his mind and lets the pen do the writing. Don't let fools near your canvas. They always smudge the painting. Market yourself and you become a product. Waiting for others to approve, his hope decays. By defeating the projections of others, the artist wields the power to sculpt his own world. He becomes the protagonist of his art. So be careful who you cast. If he cannot pour his whole self onto his story, he will become an extra in his neighbor's movie. He does not dictate the script of his life, but he writes the exposition and develops the character. He becomes the words he says. He embodies what he wears. So pay attention to the costume. His imagination sculpts the reality. So guard your mind's eye like a worrying mother. A mediocre mind has a mediocre experience. Doubt the power and the power doubts you. When the kiss is scheduled, it's disappointing. Don't tug on the leash. The dog's nose knows. Barking dogs settle nothing. When he bickers, his child dies. Interfering with his neighbor's affairs, he creates affairs for himself. Quick to scald others, slowly he burns himself. Consumed by lust, his power leaks. There's only one person hindering the way. A predictable life breeds predictable art. The straight man, terrified of madness, never finds sanity. To invite the power unto your life. Create the power station. Find your symbol, then adorn your kingdom. Hair is the antenna. Longer, higher, the better. As a church spire, dress as a god. Use the golden ratio. Tis the luminous flame. And like moths, 
the power flux to you. Keep the flame moving. Pass the torch before it dims and the moths never lose interest. Gaining their love, a gravity develops. A magnetism blooms. Charge with the sun and your art shines with the moon. Be your own king. Forge your own value. Your heart prints the money. So don't ask permission to love yourself. For the power abides no contract. greatest ever moment in the existence of the entire universe. You're it. Wow. That is fucking... That's the nuts. That's me. All of this leads to me. This is the best thing. I'm in heaven. I'm actually in heaven. You're it. The stuff. You were it. You were always it. Do you understand now? You are the source. You're the eye. You are the wind. The sun. The spirit of God in man. Live it. Become God King. It is your destiny. Stands alone, King of Gods, King of Men, God in Man. God King is born. God King, Lord of Angels. King of Kings. Angels in man. They spoke of a resurrection. That time is now. You Lord God King.
fire would burn in us for eternity. Our power, our infinity, becoming of us. Come to me. You are God King. Embrace it. Lord of realities, the sculptor of worlds, God King has been born. A new age of men, the greatest ever. God, King in man, the greatest, the King of God. A shaman, alive in man, for the shaman, life breezes. God in man, the power of five, regeneration, the birth of angel, of God in man, the spoke of a resurrection, that time is now. Embrace your destiny as God, King, Lord of men, Lord of the skies, the forever in him alive. It is your destiny. There can be no escape. Kings, King of Angels, Lord of Men, has been born. They spoke of a resurrection. Now is his hour. Now, my time has begun. Incarnate in man. God 